Today, our community received an honour from the Canadian Cancer Society. It distinguished Prince George's 2014 Relay for Life as the number one event in Canada. As the country's only 24-hour event, our Relay for Life has a certain magic. What keeps them going all night long? Caffeine. <laughs> Lots of caffeine. <laughs> But it's more than that. Everyone's here remembering and you just look around at all the people that were loved and it's just such a um, happy emotional, not a sad, like like everyone's crying and you look around but your just heart goes out to everyone but you know that everyone's there for the same reason. At the Relay for Life, there's no shortage of inspiration. The magic is, is the community and all the involvement, the amazing volunteers, um, all the cancer survivors that come out and, and I mean it's all about celebrating the survivors and honouring them. Out of 370 events across the country, the Canadian Cancer Society says ours was the top Relay for Life. This is an incredible accomplishment for Prince George. In 2014, Prince George raised a total of $600,000. We beat out Saguenay, Quebec for this year's honour. So for us to be number one, we go, th go against some pretty major centres for competition. So my hat is off to everyone in, in Prince George. It's been an amazing community effort and really something for this community to celebrate. From car washes, to a chili parade, to hair donations for a free tattoo, Local participants find creative ways to support the cause. Aside from the fundraising, Helen Owen believes our Relay for Life is so successful because it's a safe place for people to share their stories. It's like it's a big hug, a big Relay hug, and that's, that's really what we strive for, and I think Prince George does that very well. It was enough to keep these folks walking all night long. When I'm walking, I'm usually fine. It's when I stop walking that you're like, oh, really, my legs are starting to hurt now. It's a little sore, but it's worth it. Now it's already time to start gearing up for 2015. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.